but I would love the double tap to sleep on the status bar because every time pressing the power button in the long term might damage the power button. So that is all I wanted from the Pixel Experience ROM in the past. And today, I think it's almost there. So Pixel Experience Extended ROM is really, really good. In my opinion, I have been using it for like one or two days. And I have to say it has like all the things I wanted from the Pixel Experience ROM with a little bit of touch of customizations. So this is Tiro back with another video and let's begin the video. So first things first, let's talk about the stock cameras. Well, in this ROM, you will get the Google camera and the mia 2 camera app by default. Like that's all we wanted for the Redmi Note 5 Pro to have Google camera and the mia 2 camera app working super fine right away. All we need to do is just to flash this ROM, I'll link it below in the description and everything will be working fine right away. Once you boot up into the ROM, you will see there is the mia 2 camera and the Google camera at the same time and both are working super fine. Portrait modes and stuff are working super fine. Here are some pictures and samples for you. So now let's talk about the customizations. It has all the things I wanted like the double tap to sleep and stuff. Everything is there. Let me just show you. So firstly, let me show you the about section. Let's go to settings and system over here. As you can see, we have the personalization. It looks like Nitrogen OS and it has the customizations in it. So I'll show you later on. Let me show you the system first. Over here, as you can see, you will find advanced. This is just for the camera to API, as you can see. So we do have the camera to API toggle and let's go to about phone. And over here, let's go Android version. As you can see, this is running on top of Android Oreo, Android 9. Let's go back and we have this home button, as you can see of android pi as you can see and the security patch is of september 5th 2018 and this is the 27th september build as you can see this is based on the pre-release 2 so pretty much awesome let's go back let me show you the personalization settings over here as you can see we have bunch of customizations like as you can see we have the status bar customizations over here we have status bar items like headset and stuff no vaulty icon over here as of now double tap to sleep is there let me just show you as you can see and even it has the crt animations of screen off so double tap to sleep is working just fine there is no status bar brightness sliding option but i am okay with that i am totally fine with that i just needed the double tap to sleep on the status bar which is pretty convenient we have the clock style AM PM option, date style option, we have the date format, clock format, etc. We have network traffic if you want that. And what else? We have 4G icon, status bar logo, you can enable it, it will show you like this kind of logo as you can see. So let's go back. Inside lock screen, we have the lock screen charging info. We have face auto unlock. So face unlock is working just fine. You do not need to worry, which was not working in stock pixel experience ROM. So face auto unlock just works super fine here, which is great. We have fingerprint unlock all the way. And what else? And we even have the double tap to like torch as you can see. Not double tap, but just hold the power button to toggle torch when the screen is off as you can see so that is working fine and let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed as you can see the fingerprint scanner is working just fine as you can see fingerprint scanner works just fine so we have more lock screen stuff weather and stuff power menu we have advanced reboot option over here as you can see advanced reboot right here Let's go back we have buttons customization and stock recents this simply doesn't work navigation bar as you can see this is the nav bar customization and what else we have gestures as you can see we have double tap to sleep and stuff over here here we have the screen of power button torch which i just showed you 
so inside notification we have heads up option and you can disable heads up from here as you can see if you don't like it let's go quick settings we have the quick settings panel customization and we have the quick setting animation flip and rotate option over here we have omni theme we have weather stuff over here and it even shows weather stuff over to the status bar as you can see and here is how the quick toggles looks like so we have the gaming mode and stuff over here you can add bunch of stuff from here and you can just one tap to add as you can see and let's go night mode it is working fine as you can see and hotspot let me just show you we do have 5 gigahertz option over here so you don't need to worry let me just disable night mode and google pay is working just fine as you can see as you can see google pay just works super fine you don't have to worry you don't have to flash magic for this and if you are someone who is worried about the battery life of this rom well just watch the screenshot 5 hours of screen on time with like 50% plus battery left what else do you need well the battery life is really really good it will definitely last you a full working day pretty sure and if you are wondering about the charging speed and stuff here are the charging and discharging ampere test so as you can see no problem regarding the battery life it's definitely going to last you a full working day no matter how heavily you use the phone a full day so pretty good so now let me show you the ram management and app open up speeds and let me just open a few apps as you can see the app open up speeds are fine and you can switch between apps really easily just like this as you can see it's pretty quick as you can see and let me open audio recorder so let's open all the apps which i opened already so as you can see all the apps are in memory so no issues regarding memory management as you can see memory management is really really good over here in terms of day to day usage i got to say this rom is really really smooth and it gives you the stock android experience of android pi and which is super cool and i like it i really really like it here are the stock apps like the dialer but one thing you should note that it doesn't show the call timer i mean in call timer once the call connects so it's a bug i think it will be fixed in the future updates the messaging app got a dark theme well who doesn't love dark theme it looks super cool as you can see and here is the calculator app if you are wondering how it looks like on android pi which i just noticed looks pretty cool and here is the gaming performance if you are wondering how it will be with pubg here is how it will be So of course you may ask why this rom not any other rom so i would say there might be resurrection remix and stuff like that coming out on android pi for redmi note 5 pro which is not yet here 
and not even unofficial builds but i would say the most stable experience i got from android pi on the redmi note 5 pro is from the pixel experience pi rom but over here you are getting the rom this is the pixel experience rom pretty much with customizations which is a little bit tweaked so huge thanks to the developer whoever made it and i'm not sure i keep forgetting stuff it's my fault but i i really thank you from bottom of my heart that you made this rom and it is great i like it i super like it like whenever i need to flash uh, android pi rom as of now i will definitely flash this rom because banking apps and stuff work super fine here you don't even need magic and with the customizations which we needed a little bit of customizations with stock android experience and you can get it over here so i really appreciate it that this rom is here and it's running super smooth and if you want a rom which is running android pi and you want to get the stock androidish experience of android pi on top you can definitely flash this rom pretty much I, there is no argument about it like i can straight away say that flash this rom if you want android pi on your redmi note 5 pro right now so that's that that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kerian tech signing off for today i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now